Welcome to Wednesday night's NBA action here on 2K Sports with Hall of Famer Grant Hill and Brent Berry. This is Brian Anderson. We'll be hearing from Allie LaForce from the sideline. And here we can check out the story for Naz Reed. He's been working his tail off on the defensive end over the last five games, reading his opponents well and knowing when to go after blocks. His energy on that end has been really infectious. And a look at Minnesota's opening lineup. They have their two big men out there, Towns and Gobert, working inside. Edwards at the two with McDaniels at the three. And it's Conley in at the point. And for Phoenix, all the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal, the backcourt, and KD up front. Grayson Allen is out there with Yusuf Nurkic. We're sure to see a terrific rebounding battle tonight, Brent. Neither team likes to give an inch on the glass. Yeah, when that happens, B.A., you know you're going to have a physical game. There's a lot of pride on the line, and guys are going to do that dirty work. This game might be won in the low post. Here we go. So the Timberwolves win the tip. Now Conley. Pass to Edwards. Inside. Here's McDaniel. Boom! He jams it straight down. Yeah, just continuing to unlock his game. If Edwards adds the playmaking component, <laughs> watch out. Conley against Booker. Nurkic to screen on Conley. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It goes on Mike Conley. Man, the defender really went after him. And one thing about Devin Booker, he continually hones his offensive game, Brent. Yeah, I'm trying to find a weakness in what Devin Booker can provide you offensively, and there aren't any. His strengths are absolutely elite. Shot creation, great range. He's a clutch performer. This guy is a special offensive talent. That free throw good from Booker. And Booker just one of these guys who's calculating on the offensive end. He's trying to figure out what defenses are doing. He's always working hard to find shots, and he's going to influence the game with the way he can produce. And so he makes both from the line. Even though the Timberwolves made the playoffs in 2023, Grant, they had their share of trials. Yeah, B.A., they had to integrate new players. I mean, Cat missed 51 games due to a calf strain. There was that incident with Gobert and Kyle Anderson. And, of course, Jaden McDaniels fracturing his hand. And that's a powerful man right there. Towns is never going to pass up a chance to finish with authority. And that was our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, bringing you the sauce. About a minute into this first quarter... Durant surveying the D. Five to shoot. Nurkic to screen on town. Durant for three. Fires in the triple. It's so effortless for Kevin Durant making long-range shots look unchallenging. Edwards against Beal. To the middle. McDaniels inside. Nine points in his last outing. Pass to Gobert. Conley against Booker. And Minnesota again with a bucket. Even when he's well covered, Conley can score. He just gets crafty and finds the shot. Here's Beal. And stolen by Edwards. Allen against McDaniels. Outside Conley. Pass to Edwards. The three is up. On target from range. Shooting the three with confidence. That's exactly what this team needs from Edwards. Durant inside. Towns on him. Durant's shot is off. 
well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot. And for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. Now here's Edwards scoring around 28 and a half points a game. A very talented offensive player. And again, it's Minnesota converting. Look, they're not going to play a perfect game, but so far they are five of five. And the D has to be concerned. Beal surveying the D. Over Edwards. And the Suns miss again. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession, if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Now here's Conley. Right now contributing around 10 and a half points a game. McDaniels inside. Allen defending. McDaniels passes to Towns. Oh, denied by Durant. Durant covering a lot of territory with his length. Here's Durant. His last outing, he had 24 points. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. The Timberwolves have gone five of six. They're rolling. McDaniels passes to Edwards. Oh, wow! Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Edwards. Wow. Phoenix calls timeout. Let's check out the best NBA teams from the field this season. The Suns in fifth. The basketball IQ this team possesses is special. They don't rush anything on the offensive end. They take their time and stay patient trying to find the best shot possible. For three, Booker. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Still searching out their offensive game right now. One of five from the field to start this one. Outside Conley. With the teardrop. And it's laid in by Towns. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Deal against Edwards. Nurkic up top. Pass to Booker. Up and over Conley. And Booker the bucket on the assist by Nurkic. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Outside Edwards. Outside McDaniels. Edwards, the pass to McDaniels. Down to five on the shot clock. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Gobert, no good. Phoenix has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Peel gets the bucket. 
is such a polished scorer. Bradley Beal getting to the interior. And it's Conley with the ball for Minnesota. Six-point game. Up top, Edwards. Over Allen. Shot is good by Edwards. Edwards got nine points. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. The Suns have gone just three for seven here at the start. Booker finds Durant from about 19. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. Look at KD, mid-range jumper. It's automatic. Well, Brent, Durant is at the point of his career where we can discuss if he's one of the best ever. I don't think that you could argue that. He certainly has all of the accolades, B.A., All-Stars, titles, MVPs, finals MVPs. On that 75th anniversary team, to stack them all up. He's right there. Now here's Beal coming off a solid outing against Oklahoma City. And that's good. Kevin Durant for three. Durant's got his third bucket of the night. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Gobert with a screen on Beal. Pass to McDaniels. Gobert with it. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. The shot by Towns, no good. Tried to come right back at him with the three. Not that time. And another basket for Phoenix. Don't know how you get out and disrupt Kevin Durant on that catch and shoot. Minnesota in the lead. Towns outside. Back to Conley. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. O'Neal, he's checked in for the Suns. Gordon comes in for Bradley Beal. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Outside McDaniels. Conley passes to Alexander Walker. Six to shoot. Outside McDaniels. Fires for three. He buries it from three. McDaniels got five. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Here's Durant. He's got ten. It's not going to go for him. Minnesota has gone two for four from range to start things off. Outside McDaniels. Here's Towns. And it's off the back of the rim. No good for Phoenix. They've gone 6 of 11 so far. O'Neal passes to Booker. And Jade McDaniels picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Phoenix making some changes. Eubanks, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Akogi comes in for Durant. And it's Beal in for Gordon. O'Neal passes to Beal. Outside Booker. Two minutes remaining in the first. The shot misses. Nice D from Reed. Booker's gone. One of three shooting so far. Towns, right side. Pass to Reed. Morris on the wing. Booker defending. Five on the clock. Kicks it out to Anderson. Fires the three. The rebound by Eubanks. The Suns trailing. Here's Booker. Money on the 19-footer. He's got six. Devin Booker lethal on the pull-up jump shot. Loves going to this shot when the D is not paying any attention. Towns is screen on Booker. Morris passes to Towns. Count it. And it's Morris with the assist. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. The Suns have gotten 7 of 13 shots to drop. And here's Booker. Six points for him. Eubanks the screen. Booker, the pass to Eubanks. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul and he'll take two free throws now. You know, Grant, thinking back to those 2021 finals, the Suns coming so close to their first championship. Think about it, B.A. Phoenix had a 2-0 lead over the Bucks, but Giannis then decided to take over. And still, 
I think that taste of the finals was great for Devin Booker and the Suns. Shoot two. First one falls for him. The Suns making a switch here. Gordon's checked in. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Edwards is checked in. good from the line that time. A big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. You don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Now here's Reed. Still no points. Second chance effort. And count the basket. He was fouled and he's going to the line for one more. First team foul. At the line for the Timberwolves. Anthony Edwards. One shot. Young, he's checked in for the Suns. Good, Edwards. And looking at Edwards, the offensive skills he has are impressive. Now he must focus on improving his defense. Beal, the pass to Young. Back to Beal. From deep. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Who's going to miss first? Every time one team scores, the other team right back at you. Now here's Edwards. And they pick up two. Edwards got 14. Oh, he's on the attack, hitting six of his last seven. Morris against Beal. What a play! He drains it at the buzzer! Makes his selection just in time. Well done. Yeah, it's almost like he's playing with a wristwatch there. He knew the time, he executed. Anthony Edwards has been on display for Minnesota, absolutely carrying the offense. He ends the quarter with 14. We'll be right back after this word. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Timberwolves. The most consistent attack on offense so far has been the mid-range jump shot. We'll see if they can keep that rolling. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. And so it's Beal who brings up the ball for Phoenix. Trailing by two. They come into this one having outplayed the Thunder in their last game. <laughs> A big difference in that one. Their ability to convert from range. By and large, they took some really good shots. It looked like the directive in that game was that they wanted to attack and all that work that they put in on the perimeter turned into a big night from deep. On the court for the Timberwolves. Second quarter underway. Nas Reed out there with Kyle Anderson. Then it's Monte Morris. Then it's Nikhil Alexander-Walker. And it's Edwards in at the two-guard spot. Reed passes to Edwards. And just an agile move by Edwards inside, allowing him to beat the contact. Phoenix has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Beal against Morris. Now here's Beal. Not a lot of room. Down low. Here's Bowl. And 
finished off by Bull. Always want to add something to your game, and Bradley Beal has come a much more adept passer. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Brian, the new leadership for the Suns is proving to be aggressive right from the jump. Within days of new ownership taking over, the blockbuster trade for Kevin Durant was executed. The luxury tax bill increased, but the message from the Suns' top brass was we're focused on winning and not money. Money follows success. Yeah? No doubt about that. And with Beal in the mix, they are all in. This season's still getting up to full speed, Brent. What's been your impression of this year's rookie class? Well, as the color commentator, B.A., color me impressed. That's the kind of case for every season. I mean, so much talent out there, and the skill level of incoming players only seems to get better and better. You know, Brent, for the Suns franchise, it's hard to believe they've never won an NBA title. Pretty incredible with the uh, ring of honor in Phoenix that they have and the amount of Hall of Fame players that have put on that jersey. And they've lost the finals a few times, up 2-0 back in the 21 finals. We've had a couple of MVPs, some fantastic teams. The title is the last frontier for the Phoenix Suns. And he makes a first. Phoenix making some changes. Littles checked in for Bowl, and it's Allen in for a Kogi. And both free throws good for Edwards. A great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here's Beal. He's got nine. Can't cash in the 10-footer. And it's Morris penetrating. Another miss by Minnesota. For Phoenix, they've gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. For three, Allen. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Edwards looking for an opening. Soft touch off the glass. Edwards has got six here in the quarter. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. O'Neal passes to Beal, takes it inside, and count it. Now five for seven. That's three buckets in a row off assist. And Minnesota calls time here. in for Gordon. Rudy Gobert is checked in for Minnesota. Mike Conley comes in for Morris. Now for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter, about three minutes gone by. Out. 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 
Conley against Booker. Pass to Reed. Gobert on the high post. Knocks it loose. The kick out to Conley. For three. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. Just a smart offensive player. Conley is aware of when he should look to rise and fire. Woo, I love it. It's Beal on the wing. He's got 11. Six on the shot clock. Allen finds Booker. Up and over Conley. Booker can't get it to go. And so Conley will bring it up for the Timberwolves. Three-point lead. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. It's just so difficult to win when you waste as many chances at the line as they did. Yeah, it's not always just about free throw shooting, but it can be a large factor and disrupt your confidence. Now here's Beal. Consistent production from him, averaging just over 26 a game. Conley against Booker. Up and over Conley. Booker can't get it to go. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Conley passes to Edwards. Gobert with a screen on Beal. Pass to Gobert. Conley against Booker. From deep three-point land. Offensive rebound. And Gobert with the stuff. And you know he's tough on the glass. Easy money there for Gobert. The Suns have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Grant, some think of Gobert as just a defensive specialist. But he's proven to be more than that. Yeah, B.A., I like how he uses his height to his advantage inside. Focuses on taking high-percentage shots that come to him naturally. And Minnesota has possession. Following the score by Phoenix. Up top, Edwards. Over Beal. Edwards can't hit. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Booker finds Allen. Here's Booker. Pulls up on the wing. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got rebound number five here tonight. Conley passes to Anderson. Back to Conley. Pass to Reed. Fires from deep. And Booker pulls it down. The Suns have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. For three, Allen. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Devin Booker, a shooting guard that does have some point guard skills. Minnesota's gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter in the second so far. Minnesota time calls out, time, time here. And Grant, these days, more and more teams Sorry. emphasize the importance of switch defense. It's so true in the modern NBA, B.A. Every team has to be able to switch to take away a lot of the action of the offensive team. So having defenders who can guard multiple players on the court is a must. Kevin Durant comes in for Little, and it's Gordon in for Beal. Towns, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. McDaniels comes in for Anderson. Ah. 
Suns on D. It's a three-point game. To the inside. Here's Edwards. Oh, it's his 10th basket on 12 tries. You got to appreciate the efficiency here. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game? Now here's Durant. He's got 10. Pass to O'Neal from outside the arc. Rebound Minnesota. Gobert's got six rebounds in the game. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Edwards can't hit. For Phoenix, they've gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. Oh, Durant playing big in the paint. Kevin has been around the league a long time, so super smart around the basket to rise up and finish. Conley finds Edwards. Picked by Gobert from behind the arc. And Edwards good for three. Edwards got 28 points for the game. Slowly building up steam. Hit one from range in the first. He's hit two here in the second. Here's Durant. It's rebounded by Rudy Gobert. Gobert's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Conley. Count it. His third and five attempts. Now this is just too easy for Conley. The D can't allow him to get this close to the basket. And Booker has got the ball here for Phoenix. Trailing by eight. On the wing, Durant. Wide open look. That doesn't go either for Durant. Started out strong from three-point land. Hit two in the first quarter, but he's gone dry since. McDaniels against Howard. Pass to Gobert. Just five on the clock. Edwards for three. Kevin Durant pulls it in. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Booker with it. Now guarded by McDaniels. Let's it go. Oh, tough make by Booker. Booker focused on scoring right there. Even under duress, Booker finding a way to sink a very tough shot. Edwards against Gordon. McDaniels from long range. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Right side, Booker. The three, Durant. Yes! And it's Booker with the setup. Booker's got three assists in the game. First three of the quarter and third overall, guys. The defense might want to step up just a little bit on him from this point on. Towns passes to McDaniels. Back to Towns. To the paint. Here's Edwards. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Edwards got 30. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Allen inside, working on McDaniels. Allen, the pass to O'Neal, and here's Gordon. Outside Booker, pass to Durant. Again, the Suns win for two. What an unreal score Kevin Durant is. Minnesota in the lead. Now here's Conley, coming off a 22-point game against Golden State. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It goes on Kevin Durant. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Two shots. Good, Edwards. Yusuf Nurkic, he's checked in for Phoenix. Beal comes in for Gordon. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Anderson's checked in for McDaniels. It's both from the stripe. Oh, just much more assertive offensively in the second quarter. He's putting pressure on this defense and earning trips to the line. Now Beal. He's got 13. Outside Booker. Takes a three. That one falls. Coming off Beal's feed. 
Beal's got three assists tonight. One of the best sharpshooters in the NBA. Booker can get hot in a hurry. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Timberwolves ahead. Up two. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Carl, you were able to build the lead, but what's the key to maintaining it or even increasing it going forward? I mean, don't change what we're doing. Just stay together, keep passing the ball, uh, keep playing great defense, and just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. Consistency is a beautiful thing. Thanks, Carl. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. Hello there, everybody. Tipping things off, we'll take a glance at some of the other games going on right now around the NBA. New York leading against the Hawks at State Farm Arena. The lead stands at 11 points in the third quarter. And time to switch gears. The Suns are in a close one after the first half of play. I like to see them work hard on the glass, use that box out, use it or lose it. Yeah, gotta trust the big fella on that one. No one knows how to establish position and not let go of it better than the big guy. Thanks as always for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. If you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And you know, Anthony Edwards has been really making it happen, guys. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. They're just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. All the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal, the backcourt, and KD up front. Yusuf Nurkic is out there with Grayson Allen. That's the group for Frank Vogel getting going here in the second half. Here's Conley. The Suns getting their last shot to go. Here's Towns. Nice D from Durant. Good offense beats good defense? Not always. Well, Grant, Beal traded over the last summer to Phoenix. A new start for him. Yeah, and Beal was the guy for so long with the Wizards. And now he's part of a deadly trio. And you know, his numbers, B.A., might drop, but the wins should be much more plentiful. Now here's Conley. Edwards finds Conley. Towns for three. Rebounded by Nurkic. And Booker's got the ball here for the Phoenix Suns. Three-point lead. Ooh, against inside resistance. Booker still good. Three straight buckets to start the half. This is how they wanted to come out and execute. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your sons, Devin Booker. One shot. Timberwolves, they're shooting 54% from the field so far in this one. Edwards, the pass to Gobert. Over Nurkic. Gobert, no good. And the Suns with possession. It's been eight unanswered for them. Beal, no good. Their first missed after hitting three straight shots. But I like their aggressiveness coming out of the half. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, through all the stress and the turmoil of recent years, Bradley Beal is one of those players who is willing to open up and acknowledge the strain. He said, quote, it's okay to feel down, to talk about it, to be a human. A lot of times I think I'm a superhero or I can kind of figure things out on my own, but it's all right to rely on people. Brian? Yeah, you have to. It's all part of being a great teammate, no doubt. Thanks, Alec. Phoenix, no good that time either. That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Now here's Towns. He has six. Towns on a screen. Clock at six.
Pass to McDaniels. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And here you have the best teams when it comes to three-point shooting this season. The Suns third. Instead of just bombing away, they work hard to create good looks from beyond the arc. Phoenix has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Outside Durant. He's feeling it. Oh, he pipes it. Nine for 14 and showing no let up. A good heads up from Bradley Beal just spots the ready shooter. For Minnesota, they've gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. And Minnesota calls time here. Well, Bradley Beal has a few nicknames, Brent. Here's a new one, though. Mr. Consistency. Well, let's say yes, B.A., but when healthy. He struggled the past couple years with that, but let's face it, Bradley Beal plays. This guy is a tremendous two-guard who can score in bunches, defend, and win games all by himself. Suns on D. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. Pass to Edwards. Just five to shoot. McDaniels from long range. Can't hit that one. Team starts the second half missing four or five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? Now here's Conley. He's got seven. Gobert with a screen on Allen. Edwards, the pass to Gobert. And Gobert with the stuff. Yeah, great play from Edwards off the pick and roll. Moving the ball around and get another guy a shot. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Nurkic. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Rudy Gobert picks one up. At the line for Phoenix, Yusuf Nurkic. And he drops the first. When you think about Nurkic, seven foot, 300 pounds, when he gets around the rim, who's going to move him off that spot? Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. The Timberwolves trail. Outside Edwards. Out to the right wing. 
Durant against Gobert. Gobert takes it to the interior D. At his size, at that range, Gobert's shot is pretty much impossible to alter. The defender did what he could do. Booker finds Durant. Fires from the line. Count it and the foul. Rudy Gobert picks one up. And I think it's time to put multiple bodies on him. Second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Phoenix. Kevin Durant. One shot. throws good from Durant. One of the things you got to admire about Kevin Durant is his ability just to continue to focus on playing basketball. This guy is a true hooper. Now here's Conley. He's got seven. Outside Edwards. The three ball. Yes. Great play by Conley to set it up. Edwards got 38 points. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Here's Nurkic. Looking at his production, close to 12 points a game. Controls the rebound and the putback. And the Suns lead by four. And Beal, it's great to see him get in there as a guard and do some rebound. Now here's Conley. And here's Edwards outside. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Booker, good. Booker getting the space he needed and just sinks it. Minnesota has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Conley against Booker. Pass to Towns. Inside. It's stolen by Nurkic. Stolen by Edwards. Outside Conley. Now here's Towns. Conley, a screen on Beal. Towns for three. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got rebound number five here tonight. Durant finds Booker. Now Allen. Back to Booker. Here's Durant. Durant wanting it more. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. Picked by Colbert. Here's Edwards. The Suns clear it. Nurkic has got six rebounds in the game. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. And Bradley Beal making it look effortless right now. And so it's Minnesota with it. Following the score by Phoenix. Here's Conley. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Conley's got nine. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. Ladies and gentlemen,
making a switch here. O'Neal's checked in. Anderson's checked in for the Timberwolves. from outside. He drops it from range. Beal's got 10 points in just the second half. His third triple of the game. A little more success from out there in the second half. It's Edwards on the wing. Pounded by Beal. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And we've seen Edwards grow a lot in the past few years. He has a great understanding of how to put defenders in tough spots. Shoot two. The throw good. Edwards. Reeds checked in for the Timberwolves. Both free throws good for Edwards. And Booker has got the ball here for the Phoenix Suns. Six-point game. Nurkic a screen on Conley. Here's Booker. In deep. Booker gets it to go. Booker, a fantastic shooter. When he's got his feet underneath him, he's one of the best in the league. Left side, Conley. Pass to Edwards. And they double up Edwards. Back to Conley. Six on the shot clock. Reed to screen on Booker. Here's Conley. Shoots over Booker. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. The defense tries to stop Conley with the foul. But he shows great poise and manages to get it off. All right, guys. What do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Suns? Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. And the first one at the line is good. Yeah, one of the best leaders in the NBA. This team loves having Mike Conley in their locker room. Okogie's checked in for the Suns. Gordon comes in for Devin Booker. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Anthony Edwards. Good on both. They're doing some good work at the line this half. The Suns leading. Gordon outside. From deep three-point range. The rebound by the Timberwolves. When this game is done, they'll be off to New Orleans as they take on the Pelicans. That'll put the finishing touches on a five-game road trip. Now here's Anderson. Still without a bucket. And Reed with a basket on the assist by Anderson. That's exactly what you work for. A high percentage look. Reed against Durant. 149 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Out of bounds. It'll be Timberwolves ball. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Morris has checked in. Monte Morris. There's a minute 47 left in the third. Pass to Reed. Here's Alexander Walker. And right now he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Really left him alone that time. And it's now just a one-point Phoenix lead. you got to appreciate how assertive Morris is right now throwing himself around, and that's why the guys are feeding him. 
Durant with the bucket. You have to appreciate guys who can work the mid-range area. It's clearly how you keep defenses honest. Oh, man, that is just easy for him out there. At his size, with that kind of touch, that is money. Here's Morris. The Suns getting their last shot to go. Six to shoot. The Suns clear it. Durant's got four rebounds now. The shot, no good. Minnesota's gone four of seven from three. A good percentage in the third quarter. The kick out to Morris. Towns, left side. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Suns. Phoenix making some changes. Little's checked in for Kevin Durant. And it's Allen in for a Kogi. Phoenix has gone two for five from three since halftime. Beal, the pass to O'Neal. Gordon, right side. Up top, Beal. Five to shoot. The Suns need to get off a shot. Here's Little. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Beal's got seven assists in the game. Oh, there's the alley. And it's Towns with the power finish. And this is the chemistry Towns has with his guys. He recognizes when to go for alley-oops. I love it. Beal. Oh, and Reed with a block. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. Suns ahead. They lead by four. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And now we take a listen in to a recent huddle from Frank Vogel. Shrink the floor. When you're on the ball or closing out, close out faster. Okay, take away their airspace and then contain their drive. Yeah, that's the catch 22, right? Frank Vogel wanting better perimeter defense, but he's also wanting to limit free runs to the rim. And B.A., it takes tremendous discipline to do it. Don't leave your feet. Don't reach. And everyone help each other out. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. And a look now at the five for the Timberwolves to start the fourth quarter. We've got Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Nas Reed out there with Kyle Anderson. Then there's Anthony Edwards, and it's Morris in at the point guard position. Great concentration from Booker. I like to see him fend off the defense like that. Edwards against Gordon. Side Edwards. And they double up Edwards. Pass to Alexander Walker. Let's go with a three. Sends it home from three-point land. And the defense is looking almost lost on the perimeter. That opens up a quality three-point shot, and he delivers. Well, you concern yourself with the other guys who you think are going to damage you. And he stepped up and delivered that huge three-point shot. Well, if you came here looking for a scoring battle, I think you made the right choice. Both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. Anderson for three. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got four rebounds in the game. Outside Booker. And just about a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Out to Gordon. Three-pointer. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got six assists in the game. Well, if Eric Gordon gets the ball from beyond the arc, you have to respect his ability to knock those down. Now here's Morris. Reed to screen on Booker. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. 
I like whenever Morris is putting pressure on the defense, forcing them to compromise themselves. You know, one thing coaches have always loved about Monte Morris, he really takes care of the ball, Brent. He had an incredible assist-to-turnover ratio throughout his career. He doesn't put up huge assist numbers, but I think coaches love the fact that when Morris is on the floor, he's going to make solid decisions to put your team in the right place to succeed offensively. That free throw good for Morris. And Morris is the kind of guy who occasionally you trust him to run the offense through, and you hope he avoids mistakes. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Conley's checked in. Both free throws good from Morris. The Suns have gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. Gordon with it. He's picked up by Conley. Conley against Booker. Oh, Booker shrugging off the contact. Devin Booker will score by any means necessary, and that time over decent defense, getting the contact. Pass to Reed. Three-pointer. The Timberwolves again can't hit. For Phoenix, they've got all four shots to go in this final quarter. Gordon, that one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got assist number seven tonight. And even though Eric Gordon went in amongst the bigger guys on the floor, he's able to remain calm and get two. Now here's Morris to the paint. Re can't hit. You know, altered shots don't show up on the official stat sheet, but as we saw there, he does a great job of doing that as well as collecting the rebound. Here's Booker. Back to Gordon. This one for three. And the Suns get another three. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Pass to Edwards to win the run. Drains the triple. Edwards got 46. Even if this game doesn't go their way, he has to be proud of his performance tonight. Here's Booker. And Conley grabs the miss. And so it's Conley who brings up the ball for Minnesota. Outside Edwards. Morris with it. Outside Conley. Shoots over Booker. It's hauled in by the Suns. Allen outside. And Monte Morris is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Phoenix calls timeout. And there are some new league rules, Brent, to prevent those free-spending teams from severely outspending others. Yeah, it's kind of like helping them help themselves in some ways, B.A. There are teams that are way over the cap that can still keep the stars that they've got. But it'll be harder to acquire new players, free agents to sign the max deals and add them to your team if you've already spent. So it's getting a little bit more spendy for those that already spent. Nurkic just checked in for O'Neal. Kevin Durant comes in for Little. Okogie's checked in for Gordon. And it's Beal in for Devin Booker. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. During that break, coach Frank Vogel had some advice for his team. 
And they told the team, let's keep doing what we're doing. We're up. Do not forget that. They told their team to just relax, to have fun, and to finish this one out. We'll see if they do, guys. Allie, thank you. It's Beal on the wing. He's guarded by Conley. Beal, no good. Yikes, how did he miss that? I mean, he makes 9 out of 10 of those. Pass to Anderson. And stolen by Durant. To the inside. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Second team foul. At the line for your sons. Grayson Allen. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Rudy Gobert is checked in for Reed. And Carl Anthony Towns subbed in for Alexander Walker. So both free throws good from Allen. Minnesota has gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Edwards, a pass to Gobert. Rudy, a monster inside. Yeah, and Gobert's teammates encourage him to seek out his offense, especially when he's this deep. Beal against Conley. They double team Beal. The kick to Durant. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Deep into the game, you rely on players like him to keep delivering. Littles checked in for the Suns. 13 foul. At the line for your Suns, Kevin Durant. One shot. Here's Conley. Pass to Gobert. Back to Conley. It's Edwards on the wing. Shot clock at six. Chalk up two there. Edwards got 48. He's done everything he can to give them a lift tonight, but it hasn't been enough. To the middle. Nice shot by Okogi. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Here's Conley. Pass to Edwards. Edwards is doubled. Anderson for three. Phoenix grabs the miss. It's Little on the wing. That one falls. Coming off Beal's feed. And the Suns lead by 15. What a floater to see her showing that off. Outside Edwards. There's a screen. Pass to Anderson. 4-3. Oh, my goodness! That's He'll good. go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. One shot. It goes on to Sear Little. Some changes for Phoenix. Allen comes in for Little. And it's Booker in for a Kogi. One shot. And Anderson, no good on that one. Tough to match up with Kyle Anderson because of how quirky he plays. Changing speeds, plays slow, but sees the floor remarkably well. Now here's Beal. Pass to Nurkic. Nurkic to screen on Conley. Six to shoot. Oh! Booker with the triple! And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. 
Towns for three. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got rebound number seven tonight. Down low. Here's Durant. And some solid defense from Towns. Connolly with the ball. Pass to Towns. Now Gobert. Now here's Conley, hounded by Beal. And they double up Edwards. Back to Conley. There's the three. Kicks it out, Towns. Outside Edwards. Out to the wing. That's tipped. It's stolen by Nurkic. Booker against Conley. Pass to Nurkic. Back to Booker. From 12 feet. And Gobert with a block. Yeah, the long arms. It's difficult to protect your shot from Gobert's reach. Outside, Anderson. Here's Edwards. Shot from 16. The Suns clear it. Durant's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Booker. The three is up. Rudy Gobert with a rebound. And so it's Conley who brings up the ball for the Timberwolves. Down by 15. Another miss. They desperately need a bucket. Phoenix has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. And the distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Suns. It was stop and go for them along the way, but they finally seize full control of this game. The B.A., the scoreboard definitely doesn't tell the whole story. They were able to pull things together when things got tough, and of course, they closed strong. And with this performance, they'll have claimed their eighth win of the year. Always good to start a season series off with a W. They show tonight they take this team seriously, and the next two matchups between these two should be fun. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Kevin Durant. Just really loved his activity level here tonight. Constantly mixed it up, and he threw himself into a lot of plays. Now here's Towns. Back to Conley. Edwards is doubled to the inside. Towns. That one drops for him. Some assertive play from Towns. Basically shrugging off the contact. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. Booker against Conley. Now here's Booker. He's covered closely with the fadeaway. Minnesota with the rebound. Well, he wanted to keep that shot from getting blocked, but in the process, he gave it no chance of going in because of how unbalanced he was on the fade. Now here's Edwards. Here's Gobert. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Eubanks, he's checked in for Beal. And a new group getting ready for the Timberwolves. Reed's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. Anderson comes in for McDaniels. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Edwards. And it's One Morris shot. in for Mike Conley. For his career, Gobert's field goal percentage is in the same ballpark as his free throw percentage. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and game clock. O'Neal passes to Booker. Over Morris. And the Suns miss again. Here's Alexander Walker. Pass to Reed from behind the arc. Hits the trifecta. Reed. Three point field goal. And here's Booker. So it's the Suns winning this one easily. 
A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave them a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. KD, you were able to clamp down defensively as the game wore on. What was the key there? Well, we stayed patient. We could touch the shots. They hit some tough ones early on. And I think in a pick and roll, we made a solid adjustment. And uh, we turned that around. Coach did it, made a great adjustment, and we was able to get rebounds and go. The patience was so important. It paid off. Thanks, KD. All right, Allie, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Devin Booker.